Hey, this is Frank Salinas with a quick update related to Groovecart and bug fixes that have been fixed in the last week. Just wanted to let you know if you reported any of these issues, um, this video is for you just so you know it's been fixed. You can go back and check your store, check your settings. So first thing was related to Apple devices. There's some issues on product pages and some other design elements that's been fixed. Uh, the checkout steps on checkout were not reflecting properly in the builder. That's been fixed. Uh, number three, the image element settings in the visual builder were not uh, working as they should be. That's been fixed. Uh, and these were a few bugs reported by uh, one user. The image borders weren't properly uh, working as far as the padding and things like that. That's been fixed. Also related to the, the font color size in the visual builder for the paragraph that's been fixed the header background and the font color was not working in the header section that's been fixed and uh and some elements when you drag it in and some parts the image was getting cut off in one column that's been fixed and then there was uh, some small element issues related to the paragraph when you drag a new element in there that's been fixed the social proof pop-up had some adjustments made you can check that as well and then we had an issue with GroovePay. It wasn't working when Google Recapture was enabled. That's been fixed. And also there was a shipping policy page header and footer were not working properly on your stores. That's fixed for the shipping policy legal page. And then also there was a, at one point you could change the friendly URLs inside the builder for the legal pages, but we've changed that to where they're, they're the same for every store so that People uh, don't change them and then don't know how to link to them. Also, um, check your sites on mobile. We fixed the issue we had where the logos weren't uh, sizing properly. They were looking real, real small. And then there was a small issue with print, Printful uh, product variants. Uh, if you've been using Printful, you can check if you had that issue. And then at some point, some users were getting a white screen when they click on certain elements when they're trying to add it to the store. That's been fixed. And then we had some compare price issues uh, related to the way it looked. That's been fixed. And if you're working with NMI, the payment form button issue has been fixed. Next, there was an issue related to people. I think a few people were like in New Zealand and they were trying to buy and they were getting an error saying that the state was not selected. So we fixed that store wide on everyone's stores. So now when you go to check out, if you're in a, a country that doesn't have stakes, then you won't get that error. And then some minor issues related again to the visual builder uh, related to uh, the button element. And then we fixed H5 and H6 elements that were bugging out. And then there was some extra space right before the footer that's been fixed. And then uh, a couple of users had an issue where in the subtitle, the slider was not matching the styles. That's been fixed. And then finally, the checkout form and summary buttons should now follow the appearance settings. All right, for active buttons. So this last one, you'll want to check your global settings and then check the checkout page to make sure they follow how you want them to look. So with that being said, this is Frank Salinas. This is just a quick update related to bugs fixed with Groovecart in the last week. We thank you for letting us know when you find these issues and we'll continue to improve the software. Thank you for being a part of the Groove family and we'll talk to you soon.